We are underway in 2016. This is going to be an awesome year for your relationships. Many times we set goals, but we don't know how to get there. And one of the things I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks is sharing with you the do's and the don'ts of healthy relationships. My name is Janie Lacey and I'm a psychotherapist. And as I prepare for a couple of conferences that I'll be speaking about toxic love in the next couple of weeks, it had me thinking. One of the things that I reflected on was not only all the countless couples and individuals that I sit with in my office, but also in my own personal relationships over the years. And there are some behaviors that we all engage in that we convince ourselves are normal. So I'm going to share with you three relational habits that we either currently or have engaged in that are completely unhealthy. The first one is passive aggressive behavior. There are countless couples that I sit, sit with on a daily basis that just don't know how to be direct and clear about their expectations in a relationship. They want you to have a crystal ball and just read their mind and to figure out what they, what they want from you. You should just know are the words that are like nails on a chalkboard when I hear that. Healthy relationships have clear, honest, authentic, direct communication. It does not necessarily mean that because you're communicating it that your partner can even fulfill those needs but you give them an opportunity to be successful with you when you can tell them, honey, sugar baby, this is what would make me feel loved, desired, cared for by you. Is that something that you think you can work on? This way they know exactly what it is that you want, need, and would feel loved by them. Help your partners be successful by communicating clearly and telling them exactly what you need but you also need to know what you do need to know in order to know what to ask for. That'll be a whole nother video. The second common toxic, unhealthy, abnormal behavior that I see couples engage in all the time, but convince themselves that it's normal, is holding the relationship hostage. What that means is that they will emotionally blackmail you when you step out of line or you do something that they do not agree with, or you do something that hurts their feelings. Instead of saying, sugar, baby, love, that really hurts my feelings when you do A, B, or C. Do you think that we can talk about it? Or do you think that you can work on not doing those things which hurt my feelings? But instead, everything becomes a crisis. Everything becomes drama and threatening to leave and just kind of putting the, the relationship on thin ice. It's not fair to your partner and they're, the very thing that you want is for them to move close to you and to, to help you feel loved, but the very thing that you do is you contribute to them not trusting you and keeping you at a distance if you threaten them about leaving the relationship or I don't need this or um, I'm better than this or common things that I will hear in counseling. The third thing I want to share with you today is very common. We've all done it, but as we mature and when we know better, we do better. Not my quote, but when we know better, we do better. And that is we need to stop blaming other people for how we feel. I've been doing psychotherapy long enough to know that people do provoke us to feel a certain way. People do provoke certain changes in our emotional state. But at the end of the day, we have to own what we feel, work through it, and then make relevant decisions, choices based on our own processing of our own emotions. Many times I sit with couples daily where this is what I hear that is so normal. You make me feel this way. This is why I feel sad. This is why you make me angry. This is why I don't trust you. Blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, we have to be able to own our feelings. We can share them appropriately with our partner. But as long as we give our power to other people to say that you have the power to change me versus taking responsibility for how we feel, the reason why we feel it, and communicate those things very directly to work through it with our partner, I'm telling you folks, your relationship will be in trouble. It's like the mold behind the wall. It will eventually come down. Once again, my name is Janie Lacey, and I'm looking forward to spending time with you in 2016 and sharing tips on how to change the dynamic of your toxic and unhealthy relationships. This is going to be the year for you.